Welcome to Inside the Huddle. I'm Mike Joseph for the Lafayette Sports Network and GoLeopards.com. The Leopards travel to Hamilton, New York to play the Colgate Raiders. Not an easy place to play, and Colgate is coming off a two-game win streak. The Leopards on a two-game losing streak. So this is a chance for Lafayette to go up there, get some identity back, follow up, and play well, and get us something going for the last three games of the year. Today we want to talk about Colgate. We want to talk about the zone read. Michael Brescia right here, the quarterback. He is a fantastic quarterback, the best running quarterback in the league. you got to stop him. Well, how do you do it, and who do you do it with? Well, basically, you have to identify formations. So whether they come out with a tight end on the, on the board or they come out with four wide receivers is going to give you a key to where they're going to run the zone read and how they're going to do that. So identifying formations is one thing. That's the first thing you got to key in. And then what do they do well? Well, obviously, they run the football well. They're one of the top rushing teams in the league, and they do it with their quarterback, and they do it with Max Hurlman, the running back. So identify who do you want to stop. Do you want to stop Max Hurlman and let Brescia run the football? I don't think so. I think you want to let you want to make sure you stop the quarterback and allow the running back to take more of those handoffs. Well, how do you do that? Well, basically, if you're talking about the zone read, you're talking about the back set away from what we call the three technique or the shade. So that's normally in the opposite direction where you'll set that three technique. So you'll see Lafayette set that four, three front to that side. You may even see them do a little more three, four as well and maybe get Malik Cam off the line of scrimmage in this situation because he is a good run defender as well. So if that starts in this direction and there's the mesh point, the question now is if that tight tackle releases upfield, how are you going to play it? Are you going to crash, turn your shoulders and go down and allow your Willie linebacker to be the quarterback player? Or are you going to get him upfield and keep his shoulders square and do what we call squeeze and pop? In other words, squeeze down inside, take that B-gap player away so the Willie doesn't have to play the B-gap. He can be free now to go to the quarterback. So what is that end and Willie? How are they going to play the zone read? So if the, quarter, the back is now set away and that comes in this direction here, and the quarterback's looking to pull, how is that end and that Sam? Is he going to be a crash player? Is he going to be a, uh, a squeeze and pop player, allowing the Sam to play the backside? A gap as you flow. So how do those people on the end, how does that end and that Willie react? How does that end uh, Sam and Mike react. Now again, I would allow Hurlman to run the ball inside. I would trust my tackles and my noses and also trust the best linebacker in the league, in my opinion, Marco Olivas. So again, keep your eye this week on how Lafayette plays the end. How do they come in and get back out? The second part of that, okay, is the pull, whether they pull it here and they're going to drop somebody in and try to put somebody in conflict. So putting the safety in conflict or the Sam or the Mike in conflict or on this side, possibly putting the Willie in conflict and getting that uh, RPO to the outside. So there's a lot of different things that Michael Brescia can do. Stop number five and you win the ball game in Hamilton this week.